Good day everyone, I'm John Michael Barcelona. Today I'm going to disassemble and disassemble the system unit. But before we start, let me explain the Occupational Health and Safety Procedure or OHS and also the tools and equipment to be used. First, we have the two kinds of ESD, the anti-static strap, then also the anti-static mat. This tool is to prevent the electricity building up. And then the OHS, first, we have to remove the jewelry or any accessories in our body for example this thing we're going to remove it before we start then make sure to discharge yourself before you you proceed so by discharging just rub your hand then touch any metal part of the system unit so let's go and we have to unplug this then before we disassemble we need to unplug the system unit since it is already unplugged now we're going to open the outer case of the system unit okay na okay habang inaayos ko lang yung ating anti-static strap para hindi tayo makuryente okay now since na opening of the outer case is done then we unscrew the first screw of the back of the computer or the unit system now we're going to remove the power supply or the PSU power supply unit to remove it unplug every wire coming from the power supply so we're going to unplug every wire coming from the power supply first the power pin this one okay then after lagay natin sa gilid para hindi then after we unplug my power supply we're going to unscrew it So, removing the power supply from the power system unit is already done. Now, after the power supply, we're going to unplug the HDD or to remove the HDD or hard drive dips. So, unplug the SATA from the motherboard and the hard, and the hard drive. So, this one, the red wire is the SATA. So, we're going to unplug it from the motherboard. Then, since we unplug the SATA cable, we're going to unscrew the hard disk or HDD. So, this is the HDD or the hard disk. Right. So after the HDD, we're going to remove the memory. Remove the RAM, push down on both tabs holding the RAM located at the both ends of the RAM. This right, so we're going to push it down. So pick the RAM by the in the edges. Another one. So be careful. We must. Put Oh, okay. So after the RAM, we're going to remove the hint sink. So we have the hint sink. So this one we have the hint sink with blower. Before we remove it, move the power of the hint sink, power cable that attached to the memory to the motherboard. So then remove the Heat sink with blower with heat sink. Heat sink with blower. Then, yan. Okay, this is the heat sink with blower. So, after the heat sink, we're going to remove the C 
CPU or the central processing unit. So by removing it, just push down, then slide. Push down, then slide. Yeah. Then after that, pick the CPU carefully. Okay, so this is the CPU. So then after the remove CPU, remove the front panel cable. So this is the cable, so other cable that in the front panel of our system unit. So we remove the audio cable. We remove the front USB cable one and the other cable. So we have the reset reset button, we have the power switch button, we have the HDD LED and the power LED positive and negative. So we remove all the attached to the motherboard. So the, after we remove it, we're going to unscrew the motherboard. So after we unscrew the motherboard, so put it carefully. So this is the motherboard of this system unit. So we're done in this assembling the system unit. Go. Now after we disassembling the system unit, we're going to assemble the system unit. After we disassembling it and clean it, so we're going to assemble the system unit. First, we're going to screw the motherboard. So be careful in putting the motherboard in place. So put it place with the designated screw. So we're going to screw it. After we screw the motherboard, we're going to attach the CPU. So, be careful in attaching the CPU. So, if you notice, there is a pattern to put the CPU in place. So, but don't use first in putting the CPU. Don't use first. So, it will fall at place. Then, after... After you put the CPU, you're going to lock it. Okay. So that's our CPU is now locked. Then after the CPU, we're going to put the heat sink with blower. So I'm going to put the heat sink with blower. Medyo mahirap lang ilagay si heat sink. Mm -hmm. 
Okay? Then, we're going to lock it. So, don't forget to plug the power of the heatsink. So, it was here in the this side. It has only have 4 pins. Okay. So, after we put, we're going to put the peripherals or the front buttons of the CPU. So, we have the audio. Audio place here. So, it has also the pattern. It only has 9 pins. Then, also, we have the USB. So, here in the motherboard, we have the USB 1 and the USB 2. So, this USB is, is for the front of the CPU. So, I place it in the USB 1. So, if you notice, it also have the reset switch, the power LED positive and negative, the HDD LED, and also the power switch. So, it also have the unit or label here in the motherboard. Motherboard. So, place it. The first one is the positive and negative. And the second one is the HDD. So we have the HDD. Where is it? So I place all the front cables. So the audio and also the then next is the RAM. So inputting the RAM, it also have the pattern. So let's see which pattern it is. So I'm going to place it. So it has a pattern. Then you're going to push it until you see until it locks. Okay. So, hold the RAM on the edges, then push, and then lock. So, after that, we're going to attach the HDD. So, HDD is here. Okay, so we're going to screw the And the SATA cable. So, SATA cable. Yeah. So, we successfully attach the HDD. Then, the last one is the power supply. So, we're going to attach the power supply. So, so place right here. Okay. and the wire of the power supply so 
we have the four pins and dito yon so malapit may kita natin ng four pins sa part na to sa part na ito yung four pins and the 24 pins sa part na ito okay so may kita naman natin yung lock nya dito siya sa lock na to kaya hindi na din tayo magkakamali kung paano siya i-attach Okay, then the other, so ito, ito naman, power para sa ating hard disk. So, paano ang pattern niya? Okay, then... May power na si hard disk, may power na si motherboard. So, that's all. Then, we assemble our system unit. So, unplug the anti-static wrist strap. So, that's all for today. Thank you.